Okay guys, like I promised, I uh, started the engine. That's the FG84. Okay, so the timing on this one, like everybody on the thread was saying about the, the timing on the 60, I found this one the same way, but this had a little other issue. The prop drive spin off, where it's a set screw there, I found that sheared off and uh, i put it back the way factory had it and yes it's around uh, 47 48 ish somewhere in that range so what i've done i took it off and put a piston stop on number one and time it i make it 30 degrees before that the center when sensor enter okay so that's what it's supposed to be uh, i put two marks in it this is the red LED green LED this one it's a uh, cylinder number one okay so the way those three cylinder CDIs was from our CXL and mine uh, timing it's a must be a 30 degrees before top the center in this position right here okay so once the once the sensor it gets here under 200 rpms hand flip it <clears throat> fires when magnet leaves in that position that puts the timing like on this engine right here i checked it and it's seven degrees before top dead center so on the low rpms all three sparks are firing okay and it fires right here so that is seven five degrees somewhere in that vicinity okay but this one particularly i know that it's seven degrees because i tested it so once it does that it gets in uh running mode and then it fires right here when magnets when uh, sensor when the magnet enters the sensor sorry it's a long day so right here and it does that until 4000 rpms after 4000 rpms it's no more curve and it's what you see it's what you get so wherever you have the sensor set at that's what it's going to be in this case 30 degrees before top the center um what else that's pretty much what it is so it's an fg84 um uh, it's fairly uh, dark right now so let me give it a start okay don't do that so you see how it starts it starts really easy, you know, two fingers, if you do it right. The prop is top flight 2410 and that's the way an engine should idle. Okay, so I do not know the reason why Sado choose to do this, to do this timing. They might have a reason, which I might not know it. Well, I might not know it. I don't know it. Um, according to the CDI specification, like I said, it needs to be done 30 degrees before top dead center when cylinder number one. Uh, one second. When cylinder number one, it gets under the magnet right here. 
Static timing is supposed to be 30 degrees before top the center. I'm stressing this, so make sure that everybody understands this. It's supposed to be like right here, okay? 30 degrees if you have the uh, device, the timing kit, right here. Okay, so under 200 RPMs, the engine fire when the magnet leaves the sensor right here. That puts it on this engine, like I said, somewhere between five, seven degrees. Okay, so once the engine starts, then it fires right here. Okay, after 200 RPMs, it gets right here, and that is when it fires. And that does it until, and it puts a curve in, until it gets to 4,000 RPMs. After 4,000 RPMs, it's straight 30 degrees before top the center. I hope that this clarifies a lot of questions out there. Thank you guys and uh, sorry for this video. It's late, but I wanted to make it and put it out there so you guys see it. Thank you.